Good afternoon. That traffic signal changes next week for the morning commute. A response, the state says, to a high number of accidents. News 13's Francesca Washington is live at Coors in St. Joseph's where that new signal is going. Francesca. Kim, at this intersection, you have your standard red, yellow, and green arrows. But come next week, drivers are going to have to navigate a new flashing yellow arrow. It's a busy intersection. People just going way too fast, way over the speed limit. Used by a lot of new drivers headed into St. Pius. We have a lot of children that are um, new drivers that are turning into the school to get there. Now the flow of traffic near Coors and St. Joseph's is changing. I think once traffic gets used to the new pattern, it'll flow nicely. Following a traffic study for the area, the DOT is adding a brand new light, specifically for southbound drivers on course turning left onto St. Joseph's. The people will run, you know, the, they'll go from a green light, say on a turn signal, to, um, to the yellow and then even the red, and they'll still be crossing the lane. The new light will have red, green, and yellow arrows and a new flashing yellow arrow to keep that from happening. Finally, a flashing yellow arrow means that left turns are permitted, but drivers must first yield to oncoming traffic or crossing pedestrians. Drivers are confused. Too many arrows. I mean, people don't even abide by the ones that are there now. But hopeful about the new addition. I do think that it would allow more time and a warning uh, when you can turn. In the mornings before school, the light will only flash the red or green arrow. The other times of day will have the flashing yellow arrow. At that time, they can either uh, turn or be stopped for that for that entrance. And so it's, it's really tailored towards inexperienced drivers. DOT officials say drivers will have to adjust, but believe it will be worth it. After time, we will see the safety uh, value of it. The new light will be installed Wednesday from 9 to 3. Kim, back to you. And now the DOT says they do have these lights in Rio Rancho and Bernalillo, but this is the first one in Albuquerque.